very little. I only work for the, the jobs I had, so maybe four or five hours a day. Yeah. Four or five hours a day. And it's, you know, it's, it's like anything else. You're, you know, we get big orders where we have to spend more time here, and it uh, fluctuates and maybe gets a little slower, and we don't have to spend as much time here. And, uh, We're in the middle of a recession, technically, right now. Technically. And yeah. are you in feeling it? No. Why is that? How, why? What do you attribute that you're not feeling? Everybody I just else. I think because we're unique. We're a very unique decoration company, and uh, we offer a very unique product. And uh, I've built up my clientele to 80 dealers, and uh, they're always coming back to me for quotes or look on on certain things and uh, on, on decorating certain garments. And it's amazing what they bring to you. Can we do emboss this? Can we emboss that? It's an alternative decoration to embroidery, and I think that's why it's popular. A couple more questions. If if I'm making this video for Mrs. Smith yep. in United States, mm -hmm. any town, any place, do you think that it's absolutely mandatory to be in a big, big city? No. Why not? Why can't it be in a any town? It can be anywhere. Anybody. You can ship boxes anywhere, right? I think it's mandatory that you get your, your name out there and uh, show your product and, and uh, show them what you can do, show them the, the detail of, of, of what embossing or debossing can offer and it's an alternative to embroidery. Uh, it can be discreet, it can be as loud as you want it and that's the beauty of embossing and debossing, right? So, um, yeah, anybody can do it, not rocket science. Now, one other thing. I'm, I'm the owner of Permaboss. Right. You know me for several years now. Yeah. You didn't buy the machine from me. No. You bought it from... You, why'd you, I always say to people they can't find a used machine, but how did you find a used machine? I just happened to be the right place at the right time. Looking for, uh, looking for something in a warehouse and, and uh, asked what this machine was. And uh, the gentleman who sold it to me so it's a debossing or embossing machine. He showed me how it works, and they offered, said, "Do you want to buy it?" And I said, "Well, maybe." So anyway, I went in one weekend and saw the potential profitability of the machine, and uh, ended up purchasing. It. So why would they want to sell it? Why? Why? That wasn't their focus. Their focus was on uh, the corporate uh, side of uh, their business and, and what they were doing. Um, they wrapped a couple lines of other products. And that was the focus of what they wanted to put into it. Um, they didn't want to put the time and effort into embossing or debossing. They took any job that was easy to do. And, uh, you know, when I say we're only your own machine, is that you can deal with uh, one piece to a thousand pieces. And uh, sometimes that one piece can be very profitable because you're very uh, unique in, in what you're offering as a small business owner. Um, you, what, my point was that um, you didn't buy the machine from me. No. So how did you find support? You, you called a company that you didn't give them any profit. Uh, did you need support? Did you get it from us? How was the relationship no, with Permaboss? I think uh, with Permaboss was uh, obviously the dyes were very important. Where am I going to get my dyes from? Um, uh, so I just, you know, uh, started working with uh, a few of the employees and it's funny, it's you the owner, I never really met you until four months down the road and you you phoned me and said, who's this guy wearing all these dyes, right? And so um, at, at Permaboss, uh, work with the front end staff, Colleen and, and the guys in the back and and they offer great service. It's. Uh, did you need technical help? Did you have issues? No, not really. No, sometimes I, I would phone and ask uh, about the machine or, or something along that lines. But, uh, um, you know, I know when we moved it, we didn't quite hook it up right. And we phoned and, and just by ear, I think you you set it set us straight in the, in, in the hookup of it. But that was six months after because we stayed in our, our one location for six months. So. Um. We looked at your machine today. You have how many hits on it since you? 118,000. And uh, when I got it, I had 46,000. I think it was around 40 to 45,000. I think when I got it. So. And how many service calls you had? None. 
and problems? None. And days that you were down? None yet. <laughs> 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 I have <yourself> on <laughs> <laughs> okay, so any uh, anything else you can say? Wishing these people good luck, or what's uh, last thing? What what's the biggest fear that somebody might have, and that how how would they deal with it? Um, biggest fear. You know, it, it's it's you know, and I'm not I'm not a big risk taker. You know, and I had fears going into this, um, but I paid that machine off, and I paid that machine off in six months. Right, so you know, biggest fear is is uh, that biggest fear is rather I'm going to wreck a garment or something, right? What happens if you do that? No, you just replace it, you know. But it's learning. You're learning. You'll probably never do it again, but you kind of learn the limitations of lambskin and, and cowhide leather and and uh, fleece and cotton and all the new golf materials. So you got to learn the, the limitations of those of those materials and. Yeah, you're probably going to wreck one or two. Garments so list list the different products and materials you decorate besides leather, because right. people don't associate with leather in southern United States as much as in northern and in Canada. Right. So what are the other? You using all high tech? Yeah, well, we do a lot of the golf, uh, like the the wicking away golf shirts now, uh, poly lycra golf shirts. We do a ton of those. Uh, soft shell jackets are huge. We do a ton of soft shell jackets. What are the locations you do it on? Um, a lot of locations are left chest, um, we'll do it on the cuff, do it on the yoke. Um, I just did a, a jacket where the only spot to hit it was, was down on the shoulder, on the, on the rim, and we hit it on the shoulder this week, so, um, yeah, and, and like I said, uh, cotton's huge. I think cotton looks fantastic, debossed fleece. It's another product we do. Um, gloves, we do tons of gloves, leather gloves, work gloves. It's a big part of our business, leather gloves, and uh, whether it's deer skin or cowhide or black roper gloves. Um, uh, we do a lot of work gloves just where they have the, the band, uh, the leather band across the back, and, and they look really good too. So, Okay, to be fair to you, for all the people who don't want to buy an embossing machine and they want to get a contractor done, because I make you world famous here. Yeah. Where are they going to go? Who are you going to call besides you Ghostbusters? Gotta, you gotta call Perm Permaboss. No, yeah. don't you got to call New Line for contract oh, work? Oh, New Line for, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you refuse to market. I refuse to market, no. Yeah, I, what if I, I put you on YouTube and you get yeah. 600,000 hits? You tell them to phone yeah. me? Yeah. Call uh, Rob. <laughs> no, anyone can call me. You know, if you want to talk about uh, maybe, you know, your business plan or, or where you want to go with this and how to co-market it with your embroidered machine. Um, you know, uh, you know, I don't, I don't embroider, uh, but I know lots of embroiders. And again, are they are the embroiders a part of your customer group too? Yeah, oh yeah. Well, quite often, we'll I'll get embroiders who. Will, um, I just had an embroider in here. I did a thousand pieces of of, of uh, emboss and deboss. I did hats, golf shirts, and soft shell jackets, and he has, he has a 16 head embroidery machine, but it's another service he offers, is, is embossing, debossing, and he brought it to me. And he marked up your price, obviously, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yes. I uh, want to say a big thanks for taking the time in your office, in office yeah, yeah, to uh, to tell me everything about what you, what you saw. By the way, you saw the features on the new machine yes. compared to what you have? I like them. Yeah, you think yes. they're a benefit to people? Yes. They speed you up a little bit? Absolutely. When I make the Fortune 500, I'm going to buy another <laughs> uh, Permaboss uh, uh, machine for sure. Absolutely. Well, when you're running three, how about when you need to run a fourth shift? Is that? Uh, absolutely. Don't wait to the Fortune 500. No, that's right. Okay. Thanks <laughs> a lot, too. Thanks, Rob. Thanks.